Contrary to most expectations, the Reserve Bank did not cut the repo rate in the recent policy. Not only that, RBI also changed its stance from accommodative to neutral. This means that we've possibly reached the end of the rate cut cycle, at least for now. So the question is, what does all of this mean? And what should be the strategy for your debt portfolio now? Let's take a look at what the experts have to say. Lakshmi Ayer of Kotak Mutual Fund says that no major tweaks are required for one's debt portfolio post the credit policy of 8 February. However, with fixed deposit rates falling, money should be diverted into fixed maturity plans instead. Yields are now expected to remain in a tight range. Investors also need to streamline expectations and not take 2016 returns as a benchmark. For the short term, one can expect 6 to 6.5% returns from liquid funds and 8 to 9% from duration funds. Certified financial planner Karthik Javeri says that he expects yields to further rise going forward. It's a good opportunity for investors to get into medium-term funds instead of fixed deposits. He also recommends that investors have up to a 40 to 50% exposure in government securities. Investors can also opt for a combination of government securities-based funds and dynamic debt funds. Certified financial planner Surya Bhatia says that investors should opt for long bonds only with a three-year horizon. For a horizon of six months to one year, opt for ultra-short-term funds and for a one to two year horizon, opt for short term and accrual funds. While credit opportunity funds may look attractive, approach them with caution and ensure quality of underlying securities is triple A to double A plus. Do not expect double digit returns from debt funds. Adil Shetty of Bank Bazaar says, for investors with a short horizon of up to a year, debt funds deliver value as the risk of equity fluctuation is minimized and returns are higher than fixed deposits. For investors with a longer-term horizon, debt funds offer better returns and lower tax than a three-year fixed deposit for a little more risk.